the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ever glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Virgins, Mother of Mercy, hope and comfort of dejected and desolate souls, through that sword of sorrow which pierced thy tender heart, whilst thine only Son, Christ Jesus our Lord, suffered death and ignominy on the cross, through that filial tenderness and pure love he had for thee, grieving in thy grief, whilst from his cross he recommended thee to the care and protection of his beloved disciple, St. John. Take pity, I beseech thee, on my poverty and necessities. Have compassion on my anxieties and cares. Assist and comfort me in all my infirmities and miseries. Thou art the mother of mercies, the sweet consolatrix and refuge of the needy and the orphan, of the desolate and the afflicted, Look therefore with pity on a miserable, forlorn child of Eve, and hear my prayer. For since in just punishment of my sins, I am encompassed with evils and oppressed with anguish of spirit. Whither can I fly for more secure shelter, O amiable mother of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, than to thy maternal protection? Attend therefore, I beseech thee, with pity and compassion to my humble and earnest request. I ask it through the infinite merits of thy dear Son, through that love and condescension wherewith he assumed our nature, when in compliance with the divine will thou gavest thy consent, and whom, after the expiration of nine months, thou didst bring forth from the chaste enclosure of thy womb to redeem the world and to bless it with his presence. I ask it through that anguish of mind wherewith thy beloved Son, my dear Savior, was overwhelmed on Mount Olivet, when he besought the Eternal Father to remove from him, if possible, the bitter chalice of his future passion. I ask it through the threefold repetition of his prayer in the garden, from whence afterwards, with dolorous steps and mournful tears, thou didst accompany him to the doleful theater of his sufferings. I ask it through the stripes and wounds of his virginal flesh, occasioned by the cords and whips wherewith he was bound and scourged, when stripped of his seamless garment, for which his executioners afterwards cast lots. I ask it through the scoffs and ignominies by which he was insulted, the false accusation and unjust sentence by which he was condemned to death, and which he bore with heavenly patience. I ask it through his bitter tears and bloody sweat, his silence and resignation, his sadness and grief of heart, I ask it through the blood which trickled from his royal and sacred head when struck with the scepter of a reed and pierced with a crown of thorns. I ask it through the excruciating torments he suffered when his hands and feet were fastened with large nails to the tree of the cross. I ask it through his vehement thirst and bitter drink of vinegar and gall. I ask it through his dereliction on the cross when he exclaimed, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? I ask it through his mercy extended to the good thief, and through his recommending his precious soul and spirit into the hands of the Eternal Father, before he expired, saying, All is finished. I ask it through the blood mixed with water, which issued from his sacred side when pierced with a lance, and from whence a flood of grace and mercy flowed upon us. I ask it through his immaculate life, bitter passion, an ignominious death on the cross, at which nature itself was thrown into convulsions by the bursting of rocks, the rending of the veil of the temple, the earthquake, and darkness of the sun and moon. I ask it through his descent into hell, where he comforted the saints of the old law with his presence and led captivity captive. I ask it through his glorious victory over death, when he arose again into life on the third day, and through the joy which his appearance for forty days after gave thee, his blessed mother, his apostles, and the rest of his disciples, and when in thy presence and in theirs he miraculously ascended into heaven. I ask it through the grace of the Holy Ghost, infused into the hearts of his disciples when he ascended upon them in the form of fiery tongues, and by which they were inspired with zeal in the conversion of the world as they went forth to preach the gospel. I ask it through the awful appearance of thy Son at the last dreadful day, when he shall come to judge the living and the dead and the world by fire. 
I ask it through the compassion he bore thee in this life and the ineffable joy thou didst feel at thine assumption into heaven, where thou art eternally absorbed in the sweet contemplation of his divine perfections. O glorious and ever blessed Virgin, comfort the heart of thy supplicant and obtain for me this request. And as I am persuaded, my divine Savior honors thee as his beloved mother, to whom he can refuse nothing. Let me speedily experience the efficacy of thy powerful intercession, according to the tenderness of thy maternal affection, and his filial sacred heart, who mercifully grants the requests and complies with the desires of those who love and fear him. O most blessed Virgin, besides the object of my present petition, and whatever else I may stand in need of, obtain for me of thy divine Son, our Lord and our God, a lively faith, firm hope, perfect charity, true contrition, hatred of sin, love of God and my neighbor, contempt of the world, and patience and resignation amidst the trials and afflictions of this life. Obtain likewise for me, O Holy Mother of God, the gift of final perseverance in grace to receive the last sacraments of the Church worthily at the hour of my death. Lastly, obtain, I beseech thee, for the souls of my parents, brethren, relations, both living and dead, life everlasting. Amen.